Hey guys, so this is my what I've been melting video number two in this house. I have now been here two weeks. Um, I know you haven't yet seen the videos or they should be uploaded by now. Um, but I'm just going to do my what I've been melting. There's not much that I haven't finished. Everything is actually finished items. I've even finished a candle. And at the end of this I'm also going to do like a mini haul of some things that I got from my friend really cheap. Um, just going to warn you now as well, I have a really bad cut on my knuckle. I was cutting up boxes to get rid of them and yeah, it's a blister. It's lovely. Got my cup of tea and my new mug as well from one of my friends at work. Absolutely loving it. It's really early in the morning here at the moment. I'm just getting it done while there's no one else in the house. So let's just jump on into the empties. I'm going to do my candle first. So I actually started melting this because I saw Lindsay Love mention it in one of her videos. This is the Acquiesce candle in clean cotton and it's got no scent at all. I can smell it slightly like when I put my nose up to the jar. But burning this actually had no scent at all. I love the jar itself so I'm thinking about maybe digging this out, cleaning it out and using it in the bathroom as a toothbrush holder but yeah for the price that these actually retail for this had no scent at all i think it's the fact that it doesn't have a lid in its box it literally is just empty like this uh the scent just goes and it's a cotton wick as well i, I don't really like those wicks i like wood wicks which is what's going on in the background at the moment um so yeah i wouldn't repurchase acquiesce but i'm glad i tried it and i think i tried this because of is it Candle Hoarder here on YouTube or someone like that when I was actually getting into candles? And I got this from TK Maxx, not from the Acquiesce website. So yeah, I I liked, liked the scent when my nose is up to it, but there was no throw, which is really disappointing, really. I'm going to pop my tea to the side or else I'm actually going to knock it over. So let's go into this giant bag of empties. So this first one was a sample from a company I have no idea and this was in Nutcracker. Now this one I can actually remember. I put this on in my bedroom yesterday and it smells like fresh hazelnuts that have just been cracked up and a little bit of butter. It's really nice, definitely a, a really strange bedroom scent. I don't know why I put it in there but it's a really nice scent. It'd be lovely at Christmas this one. Um, don't know who the company is but yeah it was nice it, it didn't have a massive throw it was quite a light throw but it was still quite nice this next one is wonderberry so white and so white is green apple citrus rose bergamot and neroli and i halved this scent chart and put it both in the living room and in my bedroom one night this is basically to me green apples rose and neroli i don't get any citrus off it at all but it's a really nice scent. So White is one of my favourites and I never, ha I haven't actually had So White from Lush yet. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do this Christmas when it comes out. But from every wax vendor that I've tried it from, I've really liked it. This one was a medium to high throw with just half a scent shot in each um, warmer. My warmers, by the way, are 20 watt Glade melters and I do have an air wick as well. But I think that's like 11 watt and I just use that in the kitchen if I need to which is also something that I need to put in there. The next one is another one I melted yesterday. This is Wonderberry Mystery Melt. I actually thought this was a cinnamon bakery. I popped this on in the living room when I knew my boyfriend wasn't at home. And I do, I am liking cinnamon now. I am really actually starting to like cinnamon. The bakery is not heavy. It's like a cake note, but with that cinnamon as well, it felt really fallish and the weather outside is not great. We've got sun today, thankfully, but we haven't had great weather. So I've been melting a lot of my winter melts, as you will see. Oh, this one was really nice. This was half a cent as I said, in my 20 watt melter in the living room. This threw phenomenally, especially with my Acquiesce candle on as well. It smelt and felt like fall. So I would purchase that again if it wasn't a mystery melt. 
This next one is Tiffany Candle Sugar Cookies. I'm so sad I've got rid of this. I absolutely love this scent. I don't think I wrote it down. But to me, this was not a sugar cookie. This was maple syrup. So I put this on one morning when I was with my boyfriend. He didn't say anything about it, but he didn't also moan, which means he did like it. In a way. Um, I will be repurchasing this or getting it from D-Stash sites because I absolutely love this one. This is the Sunday morning breakfast with coffee or tea, a bit of toast and this smell going on in the background absolutely lovely i think i melted this in both of my melters um which i'm sad that i did because i absolutely love that one that one for me is a repurchase this next one is the cleaves mystery melt and this was my little white heart that i had in the box i popped this on in my living room this didn't really throw it had a, a small to medium scent throw um i smelt the flowery note of it but there was no scent throw which is really upsetting because i loved this on cold i still haven't tried any of my cleaves from the big pots that's going to happen this evening um but i've tried quite a few mini melts from her like that i'm not sure on the mini melts the big ones i'm not sure in those either but the mini melts these mystery ones you don't really get a scent throw or realize what scent you're getting maybe that's the melter i'm using it could be just purely because i'm not using a uh, tea light melter where i think those sort of melts are for i'm using my electric ones so the next one i did go into yankee and buy a few more yankee things this one is honey clementine and i love this it didn't throw for long it threw for about four maybe five hours before i had to take it out but this is a really nice scent. This would be lovely if you were sick. This is the sort of thing I can imagine drinking when I was sick or I had a sore throat. There's a lovely citrus scent with that sweet honey. I'm not scared of honey in wax. I absolutely love it. This was amazing. I would repurchase this purely because this was a high throw for me from Yankee. The Yankee tarts don't normally throw very well for me. I just thought I'd retry them, revisit them again. Um, but it was nice. I would repurchase that one. Next one is a clam from the bathing garden. This is Haunted Hayride, which is Granny Smith apples, caramel, cinnamon, pumpkin, and hints of hay. I remember this was a weird scent. I still think it's a weird scent. But that's the bathing garden. They come up with, Shannon comes up with a really random scent, and that's probably why I like her so much. This to me is Granny Smith apples, caramel, and hay. And that's such a strange scent to have in your house. I put this on in my living room and my bedroom just to get the clam gone. And as I said, it was mostly apples, caramel and hay. It felt really fallish. I can imagine if we had all the leaves had already dropped in our neighbourhood. Um, if the ground was crisp and crunchy with those leaves. If the air was cold, it would be really nice. But this was just, I just put this on a rainy day and i would repurchase it because it was so strange um i didn't smell the cinnamon or the pumpkin thank god um again i'm not too bothered about the cinnamon now but pumpkin just i can't do pumpkin even in four cents i'm afraid but this one is a repurchase it was about a medium throw as well that one sorry the tea is calling me this morning i'm so tired this next one is another bathing garden this is sleigh bells and this one is sugar dusted pines orange peppermint clove and apple and i didn't get much from this one again i thought i'd pop this on in the living room as my final melt i just got pines <laughs> again that's all i got i mean just smelling from the clam you can get the peppermint but that's it so pines and peppermint and that's all i got this was a very weak throw for me maybe it literally came from this last christmas collection so it needed more cure time however i don't find that shannon's wax needs that much of a cure time for me anyway i always do two cubes at once as well in my 20 watt melters so i won't be repurchasing that repurchasing that one which is a shame because I, I do like that one on cold it just doesn't throw next one is from vcs this is tea room i had one um, coin left tea room is almond tea cake orange and black tea now i actually melted this last coin in my bedroom because i thought that was the perfect place for it this is an almond black tea to me i absolutely love it i have 
I don't even know if I've got any more left of this actually I'm, I will be kind of upset if I don't and I will be trying to get it again but this one honestly even if you don't like bakery you should try this because it is a great almond tea scent it is a very strong throw I get a medium to high throw in this in my 20 watt melter every time I melt it I absolutely love that one Another one I have melted is Georgia Lee Candles, and this is in the Highlands. I melted this one afternoon this week, this last week. I have been on holiday for four days as well. And I just remember thinking this was way too manly for me to put in the living room. This would have been a bathroom scent if I had a melter in my bathroom. Yeah, to me this is just manly, and I'm sure my boyfriend would love this one, but it just smells like cologne, and I can't do that sort of fragrance. I used all four of the hearts in one melter, in my 20 watt melter. It was a medium to high throw, but as I said, I didn't enjoy it, so I wouldn't repurchase that one again. From Rose Girls, I finished off my last little bits here in Peppermint Coconut Mallow. My boyfriend absolutely loves this one, which is great because I absolutely have loads of this one as I said before I don't really get the coconut this is peppermint mallow to me and I love this at night time or in the morning if my nose is really stuffy one of my favorites an extremely high throw and you'll probably keep seeing that in the winter that one this next one is VCS of Royal Wedding and this is just British Battenberg cake and I finished this one knowing that I have another rose in it and as you'll see in the haul at the end of this video, I have another rose as well. So I need to figure out the dates on which one is older, cut it up and use it. But to me, this is literally just a sweet cake scent. It reminds me of my childhood. It's an extremely strong throw, um, but not too. it's not too bakery and it's not too sweet. It, it's a great in-between scent and I absolutely loved it. It's probably the scent that got me into bakery um, along with Tea Room love this one so much um would always repurchase this one uh, another one i have finished off is rainbow melts it's alive this is eucalyptus spearmint peppermint this was such an old date like 2014 it's 2017 three years old this still threw it threw a medium but you could still smell all of the tent notes absolutely love this one I don't get to purchase from Rainbow Melts and I've not had many Rainbow Melts but from this I absolutely loved it. Um, this is the scent that my boyfriend's actually becoming to love as well, Eucalyptus Spearmint Peppermint which is good because I melt a lot of that in the winter. I would repurchase that one as well. There's a few more melts here. So this next one is Frankly My Dear by VCS. This is Eucalyptus Spearmint as I said. My boyfriend is in love with my eucalyptus spearmint at the moment, so I popped this on last night before he came home, and he absolutely loved this. We had half a rose left, so I popped it in the living room and in the bedroom without the candles on, so it's just all you could smell, and it was really strong. You got mostly the spearmint, but you did get a sort of earthy note from the eucalyptus, which I absolutely loved. I would repurchase this one, and I don't know why I was holding off on that one. Another one I melted yesterday, and this is 30 Street Crafts. This is Grape Calliope, Calliope? I don't know. Sweet Bubbly Grape Soda, and this was from 2015, so two years old. This was a really strong throw. For two years old, I would have thought this wax would have been going off by now or had no scent. This was such a nice bubbly grape. I had this going on in the bedroom and in the living room. While I was at home, it actually kept me awake, along with my monster that I always have, um, but this kept me awake. It was such a sweet, fizzy note that I never really thought I would like. This was probably one of the 30 streets from the D-Stash I bought that I actually really liked the most, so I would purchase that one again if I could. And the last empty, yeah, last empty is Crybaby Killer from VCS. I had this on yesterday morning just to finish it off. So this is pistachio, fluffy marshmallow, sugar cookie dough and fresh strawberries. To me this is mostly sugar cookie dough and pistachio. It's a very cherry pistachio. Very strong throw. Well, medium to strong throw actually. This one was on in the bedroom and in the uh, bedroom and in the main room. 
I put four cubes of this mini loaf or half loaf into each melter. Couldn't smell it come half eleven, so I had to change it out. So maybe that's the age on this one, or maybe I just got sick of the scent in my nose. I went nose blind, but that's another bag gone from me, and that's that's strange. So as I said in the last melted video, my melts are actually becoming a lot more. I'm emptying a lot more as we go, probably because I have three melters now. But if you're liking my empties videos, they will become a lot longer as we're already at 15 minutes. I've now only got four items that I haven't finished slash melted. And then I'll go on into my mini de-sash purchase. Let's see the tea first. So one of the things I have melted this week is Hagrid and I don't know if you can read that but that's shaving cream and tinsel my boyfriend absolutely loves tinsel he decided the week after we moved in that he loved it so I put this on in the living room one night I knew he was there just two cubes extremely strong thrower I will always repurchase this you do get the shaving cream mixed with the peppermint and pomegranate to me that's what I get anyway he got mostly peppermint and shaving cream and to be honest, compared to the other tinsels I've tried, both are exactly the same, even with or without the shaving cream. Absolutely amazing scent. I've only got those two two cubes left, so this will probably got, be gone soon, which is kind of upsetting because it's one of my favourite scents. Another one I have melted recently is Clean Cotton Peppermint from Rose Girls. My boyfriend is obsessed with Clean Cotton especially in the downstairs living room when we're tidying up, cooking, anything like that. He absolutely loved this one. He didn't really realise there was peppermint in it because the clean cotton was so strong, but I've always got the peppermint from this one from Rose Girls. I've got so many cubes of this. I've got two in here and then the whole bag as well. So I will continue to lose that one. One that I have currently going on in both my melters, the downstairs and the bedroom, is from 30 Street Crafts and this one is the Mile High Cream Pie in Satsuma 7 Up Pound Cake, Pineapple Slices and Marshmallow. I'll be honest, what I can smell at the moment, or what I could smell when I was in the living room, was Satsuma and Pineapple. You don't get the cakey note, you don't get the marshmallow, which is probably just a blender. Um, but I do love my satsuma and I, I don't love pineapple but it blends quite well with this satsuma I have a lot of melts left here so this will go back into my box to carry on melting when we have sunny days and the last thing that I have melted which isn't actually here so I'll just grab it Ugh. my melts are literally right where I'm doing my video the last thing I have melted is 15 minutes of fame from VCS. This is Fruit Loops and Pomegranate and I bought this massive loaf just before we moved knowing that I will have a melter in my kitchen. This is the scent that I put on when we've cooked chicken, fish, any smelly vegetables. I pop this one on and the lemon in the Fruit Loops absolutely cleans the air, cuts it out. This wafts from the kitchen into the living room and mixes it with, with with whatever scent I've got on in there. I absolutely love this one. I have purchased this before and I've repurchased it and it would be a continuous repurchase. So they're like actual what I've been melting. I think I did well this last week. Um, not, as I said, not many things that I have not finished, but that's a good sign. If I'm finishing more melts and not buying as much, that's better for me. So I'm gonna pull you guys back a bit and I'm going to do the things that I have purchased. So as I said recent, um, earlier, I have repurchased a Royal Wedding from VCS. This is the British Battenberg cake. This is the almond cakey sort of note that I absolutely love. As I said, it's not a strong cakey note, but it is an absolutely amazing scent. So I need to figure out which one is older, so that's the sort of ones that I'll be using. And the other three are things that I haven't actually ever tried. So the first one is Father of the Bride. Looks like that. This is Strawberry Lemon Curd and Wedding Cake. So this will be probably be a kitchen melt, definitely, from the smell of it. 
purely because that lemon curd is so strong. I don't get a cake note. I do get the strawberry, so it's strawberry and lemon curd. Really nice. I swear I would have had this before, but apparently I haven't. Really nice scent. I don't think my boyfriend will like it, so I'll have to melt it when he's not here. The next one I've got here is Sunday Shop, which is another VCS scent which I have not tried. And this one is literally strawberries, waffle cone and cotton candy frosting. It's strawberry, <laughs> strawberries and cotton candy frosting. It almost smells like strawberries and cream. But you do get that almost bakery note on the bottom. Such a strange note. That's going to be a weird one for me to melt. This will be melted in the summer. So it will probably be coming up to a, well, two years. When I melt this one. But it's actually doing really, that smells really strong. So, and... Um, a lot of people say VCS cures with like gets better with age. For me, it doesn't matter, but maybe that's because I'm used to UK wax. And the last one I've got here is my favourite. This is Spirit of Rod Hope, and I haven't tried this one. I wish I had before. This is strawberries, rhubarb pie, and chantilly cream. And this one is definitely a strawberries and cream. I opened my bag when this came, made my boyfriend smell this because I was like, even you will love this one, and he didn't wrinkle his nose up at it which means it was quite good for him but it's definitely strawberries and cream it actually reminds me of a strawberries and cream sweet that I used to have as a child more so than the actual strawberries and cream Sunday shop is more strawberries and cream real life whereas this is more sweets I would love this one always get that one if I can so I need to melt that one soon before the sun disappears to find out whether I like it so that's everything guys as i said this was my second video in this house i am having amazing throw at the moment i was scared my favorite vendors wouldn't throw i.e vcs tiffany's and rose girls but they're doing fine at the moment i hope you all enjoyed this and i'll see you soon bye guys